We just installed the ARB twin compressor into the 2021 Hella Yella Giveaway Wrangler. But before we head out to the trails, we wanted to test the compressor here in the parking lot. So we aired this 37 inch Patagonia down to eight PSI. Let's see how long it takes us to get to 35. Stay tuned. So that was just about two and a half minutes to go from eight PSI to 35 PSI. And that's quick in anyone's book. So let's show you what it takes to install this. Now to mount that ARB air compressor, we're gonna be using the Grim Off-Road under the hood mounting kit. And it mounts the compressor down underneath the brake booster. So to install it, we need to get this fender out of the way and we're gonna do that by starting at the front body mount. All right, to remove the fender, you're gonna start right here at the very front body mount, and we wanna pop this little Christmas tree out. Then a 10 mil socket. Now for this next step, you wanna make sure you have 10 of these clips on hand. Now you typically don't break them all, but it's nice to have them. Whip out that little red tab, pinch the black tab, and unplug the fender. All right, you need a 10 mil. I'm gonna come up here and take the nut off this little bracket. And this one here. You can grab this fitting here, pull it right off. And we wanna pull these connectors off the bracket. On this lower one, look real careful, you'll see a tab. You can lift that up. Grab your zip tie, zip tie these wires up out of the way. We're gonna take a 13 and remove the lower master cylinder nut. The ARB compressor kit consists of the twin compressor, your air filters, switch and hardware kit, and your wiring harnesses. The Grim Off-Road Twin Mounting Kit consists of the compressor mounting bracket, the controls bracket, air intake filter relocation hoses, your Grim plug and play control harness, and the necessary hardware. The ARB Twin Compressor has been the top shelf compressor on the market since it was released, putting out 150 PSI max with just over four and a half cubic foot per minute at 29 PSI. This twin compressor is basically two ARB medium compressors joined together with a custom dual head arrangement that's then being cooled by an onboard fan. And that gives the compressor its 100% duty cycle. Now, what does that 100% duty cycle mean? Well, it means you can turn this compressor on and run it until you're done. In comparison, the ARB medium compressor is rated at 50% duty cycle and can be ran for half an hour before you need to shut it down and let it cool off. This twin compressor has a pressure cutoff switch that cuts out at 150 PSI. Add in the optional ARB air tank and you can power air tools with it. It is also sealed. The pressure switch, wiring, and electrical motors have an IP55 rating, 
so this compressor can be mounted under the hood, on the frame, or even in the bed of a truck. Just be sure to relocate the intake filters to a high and dry location. Now one quick mention about the compressor being mounted down low, you want to make sure to keep mud and debris from being built up on it. The fan, the valley between the motors, and the cylinder head area must be kept clean so the fan can cool the compressor correctly. Now we're also going to be adding an ARB manifold kit that will help keep the compressed air cooler and give us a place to mount the air locker actuation solenoids. Yeah, spoiler, we're installing ARB air lockers in the giveaway Jeeps this year. Now adding the manifold changes the compressor prep a little. If you'd like to see how this all goes together without the ARB manifold, check out our install video on the 2020 Hydro Blue Giveaway Gladiator. You'll find a link below. So we're going to start out with these 90 degree fittings. They have a barb on one side and a male pipe thread on the other. Use a little Teflon tape. You can also use a Teflon paste. If you're gonna use a paste, we say let it set up for eight hours before you put some air to it. You just do a couple wraps. Now when you're putting Teflon tape on, make sure that you're wrapping it in the direction that you screw the fitting in. If you wrap it backwards and you're screwing the fitting in, it'll actually peel the tape off. Now these fittings are gonna to go to the air intake side of the compressor. And you can use a 15 mil wrench to tighten them up. Now for the fitting alignment, we want to have our outermost fitting coming up right about 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And this inner fitting right about 2 o'clock. And that's for the air intake hoses to come down and wrap underneath the brake booster. So now grab your compressor. You want to set it on a block of wood. Just get it up off the table an inch or so. We can take our grim bracket. You'll notice there's two legs on it, a long leg and then a short leg. We have this large hole. That is for your wiring harnesses. We can take all our ARB hardware and we wanna put a dot, a blue Loctite on. Then goes our split washer, flat washer, and we can anchor the corner. And then we have this heat shield and Grimm has made a change to it in that they've trimmed the corner off of it and that allow it to fit better on the 2.0 turbos where you have that little plastic fitting at the back of the firewall. All right, now we use a 10 mil socket Grab our compressor, flip it over. This is our high pressure air outlet. Pop that little plug out. Now, if we were just installing this as a standard air compressor, we would be using the 90 degree fitting, JIC on one end and the male pipe thread on the other. But because we're gonna be installing an ARB manifold with this, we wanna use this straight fitting, JIC on one end, male pipe thread on the other. Throw a couple wraps of Teflon tape on there. Then we can use a 14 mil socket and screw that down in. Now if we take a look at the Grim mounting bracket, you'll see the three holes right across the top. This innermost hole, that's for mounting to a Gladiator. This center hole will be for mounting to a Wrangler. And then if you're adding in the ARB manifold, you're going to be using these two holes here. So we can grab our manifold and we're just using some three quarter inch, five sixteenths bolts. Now for plumbing the ARB manifold, we want to use one of the straight JIC to male pipe thread fittings. And then for the outer port, we're going to use our remaining 90 degree fitting. And we want to tip that one right about 2 o'clock so it goes 
out around the master cylinder. Now, because we're installing air lockers, our next step is to install our ARB solenoids. And you can do this while it's in the vehicle. It's much easier while it's out. And we're gonna use a number three hex key. To pull these two ports out. Now, as we look at an ARB solenoid, you'll see it's already got fittings in it. And we look at the bottom, you'll see you have two number one ports. This is your air inlet port. Remember that air is the number one important thing to run the air locker. So number one, that goes to your air supply. Number two goes out to your hose down to the air locker. And that takes a 12 mil wrench on that fitting. And then we're gonna grab our two push-in fittings for the plastic lines and they'll go into the solenoids. These ARB fittings have an O-ring on them, so you don't need to use any Teflon tape. You wanna have one coming out the side and then this other one needs to be tipped back just enough so the plastic line can come down alongside and plug in. Now to protect these ports during installation, we wanna grab a little bit of that ARB line Get yourself a clean cut on one end. Just throw a little heat on it. You can do this with a lighter torch, whatever works for you. And then a pair of pliers. And just squeeze that flat. And then we can plug the clean cut end right into the fitting. Now this is a push-in fitting, so to release it, all we have to do is push that collar in and pull the line out. Release the collar, and the line goes right back in. Give yourself enough room to get ARB lines in. And then you can just tighten up the little 10 mil bolts on either end to snug it into place. Now with that done, we can grab our stainless steel line from the manifold kit. We're going to go on to our high pressure outlet and then up to our manifold. And now it's ready to be installed in the Jeep. Slide the grim spacer over the studs on the firewall. Grab the two rubber hoses from the Grim kit. You'll notice there's two different sizes, a longer and a shorter. You're gonna route those down alongside the brake booster. The longer hose is gonna go into the innermost intake fitting, the shorter hose to the outer intake fitting. And just slide the rubber hoses right over the barb fittings. And then we're gonna take our stainless airline and that's gonna go right onto the 90 degree JIC on the ARB manifold. For the Grim control panel, we need to remove this screw that takes a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. In the hardware kit, you have three screws and one flat washer. The flat washer sets right there. Then we set the Grim control panel in place and install the three screws. Then install your two barb fitting 90s into the rubber hoses. Line the female hole in the fitting up to the hole in the bracket. Take our ARB filter and screw it right in. Now these are air filters, so you'll wanna service them according to the, 
how you drive. If you spend a lot of time in dry, dusty environment, you'll want to clean these often. Just pop the lid off, reach in, grab that sintered bronze disc, use some warm water, soapy water, get all the dirt loosened up, and then blow through the back side of the filter, forcing the dirt back the way it came. Once you have it clean, you can blow it dry, set them back into place, and you're good to go. Now we're gonna take our remaining 90 degree JAIC fitting, screw that into the back of the bulkhead fitting. Now we wanna finish it with that fitting pointed down towards the brake booster. Then we can take our stainless line Now, one thing I do need to mention is if you have the e-torque engine, you're gonna have a little relay block right here. And so fitting this Grim control bracket, it just, it's not gonna work without relocating it. So what we do is unbolt that little relay bracket and then swing it up against the firewall and it's gonna mount on these two studs. It'll go underneath this nut and then in the Grim kit is another nut to run down and lock it in place. Then you can install your Grim control bracket. And then take your air chuck. We're using the ARB pump up kit. So we've got the ARB chuck, little Teflon tape on it. You get two harnesses in your ARB compressor box. This is your main power harness. We're gonna install that. This is your controls harness. We won't be messing with the air lockers yet. So we're just gonna set this one aside. Route the ARB power lead over to the battery. You want to hook your positive leads up first and then finish with your negative leads. Now to wire in our switch, we want to take the Grim wire harness. The plug in goes down to the compressor. The three loose ends will go through the hole in the bracket. And now we're gonna take our ARB compressor switch, turn it so the terminals are in the backward C. And if you look close, there's little tiny arrows. We want those facing up. And we're only gonna use these three on this side. The top one is gonna be the black wire. The middle one will be the red wire. And then that bottom terminal gets the purple wire. And now we can push it through the bracket and snap the switch in place. Route the Grim harness down to the compressor and plug it in. And then test it out before you button everything back up. So if you're thinking about adding onboard air to your Wrangler JL or Gladiator JT, hit those links in the description box below and pick up the ARB twin compressor and the Grim Off-Road under the hood mounting kit for your Jeep. And then if you like content like this, hit that subscribe button and then hit up the comment section and let us know what are you running for onboard air. Thanks for watching our video. We'll see you again soon.